transforming sprites in movement. Let's take a look at the snakehead and what we do not want to do. Very boring movement indeed. Instead, let's try to achieve this. When I hit left, he turns left. When I hit right, he turns right. When I hit forward, he moves. But as you can see, there are some noticeable problems. Momentum, which may be useful for a spaceship, but not a snakehead. And extreme speeds, not useful for anyone. First of all, when transforming sprites, it is important to know that the sprite is facing to the right. Whether it's a tank or a missile, it has to face to the right. Right is 0, up is 90, left 180, and down 270. Let's take a look at the properties of the snake head. We've set a variable called facing. Uh, you can name it whatever you want, but I choose to name it facing with a value of 0, being to the right. In the step event, which step controls actions happening over and over and over again, I, I've put a transform the sprite, and I've transformed it to the angle of facing, which we know is equal to 0. Then I put commands mapped to the keyboard of left, up, right, and down. When hitting left, I set a variable of 5. For up, I set a movement. The movement is always in the direction of where it is facing. And I put the speed to 0.3 in relative. To go right, I set the variable facing to negative 5. And for down, I set the direction to a negative 0.3 from the direction you're facing. So you'll go opposite of that direction which you're looking towards. Now to fix the, the friction into the speed. Let's create some friction found in the movement menu and slide it, set it slightly lower than the speed. How about a point two? And how about limiting speed? If speed is larger than six, set speed to six. Now let's see what happens. Very good. That's much more like a real snake without a body. And that concludes the movement and transforming sprite tutorial.